so we are back with the only TV show anywhere in the world that lets you know exactly what is happening in Liverpool entertainment wise. Yes, from gigs, theatre, comedy to nightlife, we cover it all. This really is your ultimate what's on guys to your city. And this week we have got a girl band superstar. We do. We've got a UK soulstress uh -huh. who loves to sing about Elvis. She does. And we've got one of the biggest bands in the city right now. As well as that, we've got two huge competitions to get involved with. And we take you inside one of the city's finest new gastro pubs. Look at this. It's amazing. Can't wait to get in. It smells lovely. The Guide with Jay and Ellie at the Old Blind School on Harman Street. Should we do it? Let's do it. Here we go. Welcome to the show. It is good to be back and it's good to be somewhere nice, warm, cosy and inside for once, Jeff. I know, we've done a lot of shows out and about <laughs> in the wet and the rain lately. Yeah, but they've been good. The River really Festival, good. Anthony Walker Festival, yeah. um, Farm Feast was amazing. Yeah. And of course, we're building up to Bandstand yes. and Lymph 2015. Yes, and the weather will be good. The sun will be out. We will not need the wellies. More on Lymph later in the show. Uh, so we are here at the gorgeous old Blind School. How lovely is it in here? It's beautiful. I didn't get over how big this place it's was. Huge, it's it? massive. Uh, and you can see how amazing the food is mm, too. A little bit later, we're talking to one of the co-owners, Dave Mooney, and he could be giving you a three-course meal for free. Get on Twitter at the guide Elpool for more info. Yes. Anyway, so what's happening in this week's show? We met Girls Aloud star Sarah Harding, a quiz on all things Liverpool. Find out how she did later in the show. She was great, wasn't really she? Good. As well, we got great music from the Fireflies. We're going to be chatting to Chris Carney about Bandstand. Yes. And you could be off to a huge dance event happening on the 30th of August at the Garage. Uh, it's called Peach, and you'll be there for free. We'll give you details on that in a little bit. That is all still to come. But right now, at the moment, at the Empire Theatre, yes. great music. We all love Elvis. Yeah. It's called Love Me Tender, starring Misha Paris. Of course, we have to go backstage. We, to. we have to try and find <laughs> Misha. Let's see how we got on. So we're here on the Empire. Behind me is the most beautiful set ever and the most beautiful pair of cast members um, <laughs> you, you from a that, fantastic show. Very nice. Mate, what a show that is. I came last night. Yeah. Uh, over 25 big Elvis songs in there. But the thing that got me was the comedy in Love yeah. Me Tender. Well, this is understated, I think. It, people kind of just assume it's just going to be like a tribute show and it's completely not that. And, you know, you're howling. We're howling every night, every night. <laughs> we always share a little laugh, don't we? Every night. The, the thing this show's got going for it, as you mm. pointed out, is it's got a really great script by a guy called, guy called Joe DiPietro. And um, he, he wrote Memphis, he won a Tony for writing Memphis, so he's got, he's got good form. And it is, it's very funny and very moving, as, as, as well as linking the songs together. So it's, it's yeah. a big plus for the show, really. Do you know, when I got home last night, I was Googling some of the Elvis songs that I didn't quite know. Yeah. But then some of the other ones that refreshed my memory, and I was like, I love that, I love Hound Dog, I love yeah. it. And that's yeah. what it makes you yeah. do. It, and it that was, it, that life, was the other it? thing as well. It, it, it's interesting that there were songs that, I mean, I thought I knew every Elvis song. Hmm. And when I took on the show, I learned some new songs too. So it's like, I think everyone is. Yeah, it's a, that, that's another plus. That is, is, it's not only his big, his big uh, number one hits, but mm. they've uh, chosen carefully from his back catalogue. Some of the, uh, I mean, one of the songs I sing, "The Power of My Love," with um, uh, with with Chad, is is one of his old Las Vegas uh, right. songs. Uh, and there's other songs like... Um, well, There's Always Me. There's Always Me. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. No. I didn't know that one to be an Elvis yeah. song. There was a few, I don't know, but Can't Help Falling In Love before oh. the interval. Yeah, it's, it's great. Oh, <laughs> after laughing so much, I was nearly crying well, at that moment. That's, 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 a, that's a brilliant musical arrangement from Matt Smith. Really? He's a bit of a genius on musical director. Yeah, he's amazing. Are you both Elvis fans? Yeah, I mean, via my mother, who was obsessive to the point of, like, it was... Uh, we had to... We thought we were going to get institutionalised, but right. uh, she <laughs> loves, she absolutely loves him. Yeah. So yeah, I grew up through her with yeah. him, really. Yeah. But I, both your voices as well, Sean, yourself, obviously Misha, your voice is, is stunning. We're well, looking great, and um, I'm loving the Elvis moves that you do in the show, Sean. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I, I sort of, the hip shake. without giving it away, I sort of transform yeah. halfway through. It's, it's like stars in your eyes, isn't it, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I play the mild-mannered janitor. 
and then I, I turn into Elvis halfway through. Very good. Yeah. But, very but, good. Um, there was a few ladies, you know, whistling and stuff. Oh, no, no, he's hot. Yeah. He's hot. Yeah. Are you both enjoying Liverpool? Oh, I, I love Liverpool. I've been coming here since the mid '80s. Uh, my 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 oldest girl friend is is up here, Angie, and I've been coming up to visit her and her family for um for about the best part of 30 years now. Oh. So I've got good form in Liverpool, and it must be about my fifth time here. So, yeah, I, I, I love the place. Love Great. It. And you, Misha? Me, you, yeah. You know, shopping? Not yet. Haven't had time because okay. I'm so busy with the show, but I will be doing it, trust Get me. That's a Liverpool one. I will, I okay. will. Danger. Misha, Sean, thank you for chatting to us. Our okay. guys are here until Saturday. Two shows on Saturday, so please do come and see Love Me Tender and get online now on Twitter at the guy at Elpool to win tickets. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Cheers. babe. You cannot beat a bit of Elvis. Love Me Tender is on at the Empire Theatre until this Saturday. And if you like your 60s music, then Dreamboats and Miniskirts starts its run there on the 24th. OK, so we all know him from Threshold Festival, but I'm joined by Chris Carney for a different reason. Chris, tell us why you're here and what you're up to now. Well, I'm working this summer on Bandstand. It's actually the third year that we've done it. OK. Um, so it's a, a festival of, of, uh, of local music mm -hmm. across uh, <laughs> Sefton Park and Stanley Park Great. Throughout, the, throughout the month. And it's been running for three years, hasn't yeah. it? What kind of artists have you had on it? Um, well, in the last two years, we've had uh, we've had Rob Vincent, we've had Mike Lowry, Brilliant. Anthony McCool, just a, a real bunch of guys who are always, you know, on, on up and coming. Yeah, so and it's as, real, yeah. real talent you've got on this stage, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, oh, absolutely. And absolutely. it's running kind of for the next month, isn't it? When did it start? It started yeah. already, hasn't it? It started last weekend, okay. uh, and it's running until the 6th of September. So that'll be the last one at Stanley Park. And it's, when is it? So it's Saturdays are at Sefton Park, yeah. and then Sundays at Stanley Park. That's right, And yeah. it's daytime, yeah. isn't it? So you can go yeah. along, the sun will be shining. Yeah, oh yeah, every single one of them's going to be sun And it's completely free, isn't it? And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally free. Uh, yeah. And yeah. who's involved in this like collaboration? Uh, I know it's your baby, but who else kind of works with you on this? Well, it to make starts. It yeah, it's 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 actually Lymph. Okay. So it's Lymph and Mayor of Liverpool, and then I work for Open Culture in programming it and delivering it. So everyone's involved in making this happen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And tell us some of the artists that are on on the lineup for this summer. Well, we've got uh, got some amazing stuff going on. So uh, basically, uh, headlining on the fifth of September, we've got Clinic. Which okay, is a amazing. huge coup, yeah. like massive. Yeah, seen them live, they're brilliant. Yeah, yeah so good. And then uh, on the 15th at Sefton Park, we've got da Danielle Louise Thomas. Now, she's an opera singer, isn't she? Yeah. She yeah. is phenomenal. I've seen her perform live, and her voice is stunning. That's going to be so special. Yeah, it's and great. She's doing and that for a specific cause, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, it's Northwest Cancer Research who are sort of partnering with us on that particular yeah. event. Yeah. And so tell us any of the acts that we can look out for and we have to go and oh, see. Oh, plenty. You've got to see, see Scarlett, Emilio Pinci, there's going to be Dominic Dunn, Katie Alex, um, Amazing. Shimona. We've had so many of these guys on the show. So yeah, if you've yeah. seen them on the guide and you want to see them live, then get down to the bandstand. Where can people find out exact details on it? Is there a website they can go yeah, to? Yeah, the best thing to do is go to limpfestival.com forward slash discover and you'll find the bandstand just at the bottom there. Great stuff. We can't wait for all those events. Saturdays and Sundays for August, booked out at the bandstand. Chris, thank you so much for chatting to us. Thanks, okay, Alan. stay with us after the break. We've got music from the Fireflies and We Meet Girls Aloud star Sarah Harding. Welcome back to The Guide Liverpool here on Bay TV with me, Jay Hind, and this one, Ellie Phillips, and we're here at the beautiful old blind school. I love it here. Uh, still to come, we chat to Sarah Harding and quiz on all things Scouse and Celebrity Scouser. Uh, but first, we have got tons to tell you about, starting with the biggest free music festival in Europe. Yes, Lymph 2015 is happening August bank holiday weekend in Sefton Park. And the first day, the Saturday, Headliners Basement Jack will take to the stage. How amazing is that? And they're going to be supported by the likes of Artful Dodger. And get on this the Juice Weekend Boys in the build up. So it's basically going to be one big free rave in September. And Tom Powers, Liam Hings, Ian Long. It's going to be brilliant. Looking forward to that. Uh, then on the Sunday, if you're not too hungover, uh, we've got Labyrinth headlining. So cool. Katie B is going to be yeah. there. Um, we've got local lads Mike Lowry, Alicia Dixon. And the real thing are on stage that day. Love it. Yeah. And as well, great rock and roll star in the making, Louis Berry, on stage on the Sunday at Lymph. Yes, and then on the Monday, Echo and the Bunnymen team up with the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra for a spectacular performance to celebrate 175 years of the Liverpool Phil and 31 years of hits from one of the city's biggest bands. As well as that, we've got the likes of T Street Band, Space, S 
Tesco, Williams, and one of our faves, Rose and Bloom. That's all on the Monday. It's going to be great. Lymph is only round the corner. Really, really excited. So excited. Um, as well as that, we've got a big comedy show. Yes, we do. It's back. Bouncers uh, starring Mickey Stark and the lads at the Royal Court. Now, I missed this last it's time. You hilarious. went. Hilarious. Please, is please so good. check it out. It starts on the 4th of September. It runs until the 3rd of October, so lots of opportunity to go and see it. And talking of comedy, Ali yes, Phillips. The Liverpool Comedy Festival is back. It's the fourth year, and it kicks off on the 18th of September. And guess who they've got? Go on. They've gone and got. Funny man himself, Alan Carr on the bill. Love him. Boss is that. Dave Spikey's yeah. there, Nina Conti. It's huge. Check it out on the Liverpool Comedy Festival's website. Uh, also, also... Big dance events happening. Big dance big events. Dance we events. all love a rave. Yes. Uh, reminisce. <laughs> reminisce is back. It's happening on Saturday, 4th of September yeah. mm -hmm. at Shardley Park. Um, make sure you check it out. They've got Robin S, they've Brilliant. got Lasgo, Ian Van Dahl, of course DJs Lee Butler, Anton Powers, Steve Cocky, John Con. It's just, just so massive. Many. Yes. It's going to be a massive big Clubland Classics Festival. Check it out. Reminisce on the 4th of September. And another big dance event happening is on the 30th of August at the Garage. It's called Peach and it's their fourth birthday and you can be there for free. All you need to do is get on our Twitter at the guide Elpool, find our peachy tweet and retweet it, get on our Facebook, the guide Liverpool, find a peachy post and repost it and you can be with the chance of winning two tickets. And lots of what's on news on our Twitter and Facebook pages, so check yep. them out right now. Uh, but now we better cross back to the Titanic Hotel. Uh, we met a lovely girl, former Girls Allowed star, <laughs> Sarah Harden. The chefs are up in arms behind me. <laughs> Uh, really excited for Sarah Harden to be on the show. We got a new single, Threads, and yes. we quizzed there on all things Liverpool in Celebrity Scouse. Do you know what? We are buzzing right now. Not only are we in a beautiful suite we here are. at the lovely Titanic Hotel on Stanley Dock, but we were, are we with a movie star? We are. With a model, yes. a dancer, yes. a member of the biggest girl band ever, yes. and now she's launched her own solo singer, and she's on Corrie. Yes! Uh, Sarah Harding. I'm exhausted. I know. Am I? <laughs> How are you? I'm very well. I <laughs> just, I'm knackered off. <laughs> so it's, it's, it just proves how much you've done, though. I know, thank you've you. had a busy old few years, Mrs. I know, I know, but it's all been good. It's good to be busy, right? Of course it is, of course mm. it is. Liverpool, you, you're here now, you've been here the past few hours. Yeah. You've partied in Liverpool, you play Liverpool. I, Do you played, like it here? Yeah, the Echo. Is it still there now? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, we played there when we came here on tour, and uh, we've had some good memories here. I've still have lots of fond memories. Yeah, I don't know if I've been out in Liverpool before though. No, Ooh, we no. need to sort that, that out. Have yeah. you been to here before, to the Titanic no, Hotel? No, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's um, if I'm coming here, I'm staying here next time. Definitely. <laughs> okay, so we have to start by talking about your debut solo single, Threads. Oh, yeah. Jay and I both heard it, we love it. It's so sexy and edgy and cool. So tell us all about it. <laughs> oh dear, I've been talking to people about this all day. <laughs> uh, no, it's just funny. Um, it's, yeah, it's quite an angsty kind of track, but it's quite rock and roll, it's a bit, it's a bit gritty, isn't yeah. it? But, um, but yeah, I wanted a, a sort of... I wanted to kind of cross borders a little bit and channel my inner rock chick. Nice. And um, it's, I call it dub pop rock. Nice. <laughs> so I was thinking it's a cross between Avril Lavigne and Gwen Stefani in some mm. ways. It, like, just, just a bit early There's, there's, there's no Stefani. sound really that I've heard from, from any of the Girls Aloud members, for instance, no. or, or from a lot of females that yeah. kind of just sums you up, that sound. Do you get me? Yeah. Obviously, we've only just met, but <laughs> I want to know about you. that sounds like you. So you must be happy with how yeah. it sounds. Yeah, well, I mean, um, the producer who made the track, it was Jamie Collins' brother, Ben, and um, he was just uh, he played me the track, and I said, I love it. It sounds like, it's, like he plays all the instruments himself, yeah. and you know, I had a lot more creative control. And, mm. and uh, I wrote it with him himself and a lovely lady called Jules. And uh, he's like, How do you feel when you listen to this music? And I was like, Makes me want to vent. So I was, she's like, Well, we don't have to write a love song then. Let's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> write a hate song. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, really, it's a bit sort of, there's a moral to it, you know, it makes, by the end it's just like, you know what, let, let go of any of that negativity that you've experienced in the past yeah. when people have BF'd you and, you know what I mean? Yeah. BS, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're in Liverpool. Yes. Um, yeah. Something now which, which is infamous in this city is a quiz that we do for any celebrities that pass through and it's called Celebrity Scouser, okay? okay. How's your Scouse accent, Sarah? Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> She's been practising. She's been practising. So we've got a load of questions. We're going to put a minute on the clock. Yep. Um, oh, the last time we've done this, Mac Buster got 11. Yeah, no pressure. Oh, but good. Niall from One Direction is the overall winner on Celeb Scouser with 17 points. Oh, okay. what a suck up. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> I didn't give him any answers at the beginning already. 
<laughs> right. So we're going to put a minute on the clock and okay. we'll, we'll... You ready? You ready? What area of Merseyside is Nicola Roberts from? Runcorn. Runcorn. Sing the line of a song by Tom and Kitten. <laughs> you can make me whole again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what Liverpool football player and his wife have just moved to LA? Gerard. Yeah. Which ginger singing legend has recently been played by Sheridan Smith on telly? Oh, uh, da, 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 Scylla. Scylla. If you were blagging me head, what would you be doing? Blagging me head. Oh, just giving you... I don't know, blagging your head. <laughs> I know what you mean. Blagging. Yeah. Like telling pips. Yeah, yeah, yeah blagging your head, yeah. Uh, say they do, though, don't they, though? <laughs> they do, though, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Famous Scouse actor currently starring on Coronation Street. Uh, Craig Charles. That'll do. Sing the line of a Beatles song. Oh, oh, oh! Did... Oh, let it be? Let it be. That'll do. Which <laughs> Scouse X Factor star was mentored by Cheryl? Uh, Rebecca Ferguson. Rebecca Ferguson. What is the name of our arena? You've already said it. Oh, well, oh, we played it. The Echo. Echo. Yep. Single line of threads like a scouser. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what part of the song to sing. Um, first line, first uh, line. First line. Basically, think now you're gone, got to figure out. <laughs> That's amazing, Tyrone. That's a, a beauty or a divvy. That's a beauty or a divvy, finally. A divvy is just a, a, a bit of a... a Idiot. Idiot. Yeah. 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 That was good. It was really good. How many really points goodness. did we get? Um, 11. So, yeah, That's actually 12. 12. Yeah, I'll give you one. 12. You didn't sing it probably. Well, I know. 12. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to. I didn't really think about that. Is unreal, yeah, it was done in. <laughs> done in. I can speak in. I can speak in, in, in Scouse, but I can't sing it. <laughs> that, was, that was a head, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you didn't sing the dirty version of the Tom yes. as well. So yes. Uh, listen, um, that is all we've got time for. Thank, Thank you for guys. joining us here no at the worries. Titanic. Good luck with the single yes. and the EP, uh, yeah. which is out on 7th of August. Sarah uh, and if you want Thank some you. signed uh, copies, hard copies, you can go to my website for them as well, because I've only done a limited stuff. edition. OK, nice. we'll put all the links yeah. on our Twitter feed right now. At The Guide, Liverpool, Sarah Harding. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> Big thank you to Sarah Harding. She done well. She played Celebrity Scouser, and that single is out right now. It's called Threads. Check it out on Bay TV's website. But right now, uh, we ventured upstairs to this beautiful building, as if it couldn't get even more beautiful. It's I'm now with stunner, isn't it? co-owner Dave Mooney. How are you, Dave? I'm really good. You? Yeah, congratulations, first of all. This place is amazing. Massive project well, to, to do something like this. Massive. Massive plus 50%. It was unbelievable. It was unoccupied since 2006 and it was in a pretty sorry state, but oh, you know, I still get excited every morning when mm. I walk in. Now, we've got to talk about something that, that has, has had national press. It's been everywhere. Oh, my Lord, it's where are we going with this? Oh, <laughs> the famous mixed grill. It's the biggest in the UK, we think. Um, I think. Can you remember what's on that mixed grill? Of course I can. Go Do you want on. me to Oh, yes. Lord, you were going to test. Oh, you're testing me. The yeah. Rushton Grill has rare breed dry-aged gammon steaks, two of. Two Cote de Boeuf, or T-bone steak if you want to be proper. Two chicken breasts, two steaks. I'm struggling now. Onion rings, three different sauces, as many chips, chips. as you can eat, or fries if you're that way inclined. Uh, what else has he got? He's got loads of stuff on it. I can't remember this steak. Have you, have you had one? one? Have you done? Have you done one? Yeah, I do. I've run every morning for breakfast. Right. You know, just before I go for my uh, hyper jog. <laughs> it looks amazing. Salivating at the thought. Tell me what what one dish you would advise people to come and try here at the Old Blind School. Do you know a mixed grill? Do you know something? I know it's going to make me sound really northern and a bit clog wearing, but the black pudding with a poached egg and bacon jam. Oh my lord! I'm doing one of those little sort of dribbles. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. unbelievable. Black pudding with a little bit of curry spice in it, and, and then it's got what we call chip shop gravy. It's that sticky, lovely gravy, Ooh. you know, that, but without the skin. Yeah. That's, that's the important thing. Oh, it's, that is a lovely dish. People should really come and try this place. It's one of the biggest restaurants now in Liverpool. Um, 230 covers, I think. It's huge, yeah, isn't it? You're 100 down. short there. Oh, am I? You are 100 short, yeah. We've got a lovely bar area downstairs, which is great if you come into the fill or something like that. You know, really, really beautiful wines and beers and cocktails the guys are so talented i watch them sometimes i think how the hell are they doing that and then i'm thinking we taught them but yeah, yeah it's great you know and so you can just come in and have a drink you can come in and have brunch you can have the full hit you can come in and have the rushed and grill anytime you like brilliant well i might try that myself okay uh, listen you could be here too we're giving away a meal for three with wine three course meal sorry meal for two three course meal with wine uh, just get on twitter now at the guide elpool and tell us when the blind school the original blind school was formed. Tweet us that, and you could be in with a chance of winning. You could come and have Dave well cook worth for it. you, which is well worth oh, it. Oh, you don't want that. You want one of the talented <laughs> chefs. <laughs> Listen, thank you for having us. Absolute uh, pleasure. Beautiful place. See you soon. And we're now going to pass to the Bay TV studio for music from the Fireflies.
If I break down in front of you I tell you all the reasons that I do If I lose myself in this world of pain Sail me back to shore and I'll explain The branches there won't hold the way If I find a cure for what makes me weak Absolve the fear inside and let me sleep, yeah If you lose me to the soil I go Bring me back to life and hold me close The branches there won't hold the way They are amazing, oh, amazing. Well done, guys. Thank you for coming on the guides. Uh, so that is it from us here at the beautiful Old Blind School. Please come and check it out. The food is amazing. So My new favourite breakfast place <laughs> is here. Um, and as well, get on Twitter right now, at the guide at Elpool, you could win a meal for two, three courses. And as well, we've got another big prize. Yes, we do. Uh, Those peachy, peachy tickets happening on the 30th of August. All you need to do, get on Twitter, at the guide Elpool, or get on Facebook, the guide Liverpool, find the post and get involved. Big, big club night happening with Peach. Uh, so we'll see you same time next week. Next week, we are previewing Lymph 2015. It's going to be massive. Check it out next Thursday, 8.30 p.m. For myself, Ellie, everyone on the guide crew and everyone here at the Old Blind School. We'll see you soon. Take care.